Welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss the monthly current affairs of August 2023. Total 200 top monthly current affairs of August. So this is very important for all competitive exam. So before starting the video, I request you those who are new to this channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the daily notification. And also please like and share this video. So now let's start the video. First category, books and author. Number one, the book title Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Memories Never Dies in Rameswaram has been launched by the Union Minister Omit Saha and it has authored by Dr. Najima Naralikar and ISRO scientist Dr. Y.S. Rajan. Number two, the book The Monsoon has been authored by Avoy Kumar. Number three, Kuch Adhure Sabd. The book has been authored by I.S. Asutos Agniyotri. Number four, Drunk on Love, The Life, Vision and Songs of Kabir. The book has been authored by Bipul Rekhi. Next, number five, Union Youth Affairs and Sports. Minister Anurag Singh Thakur and Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh Sivrai Singh Chauhan have released the book based on, on, based on the speeches of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and titled is Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Viswas and it is released at the Kusumbo Thakre Inter International Convention Center in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Next segment, Defense. Number 1. India's Air Force IF has received the air-launched spike non-line of sight NLOS anti-tank guided missile ATGM from Israel and it can hit the targets up to 50 km from a helicopter and 52 km from ground. Number 2. India's indigenous NAG anti-tank guided missile ATGM and the variant of Helena helicopter launched NAG weapon has successfully concluded the trial system called as the Dhruvastro. Number 3. Bharat Dynamic Limited PDL has handed over the first radio frequency RF seeker of Akash, the next generation weapon system to DRDO Defense Research Organization. Number four, the organization has developed the weapon locating radar um, called the Swati Mountain for the Indian Army by Vail Bharat Electronics Limited. Number 5. 31st edition of the Malabar multilateral exercise will be held in Sydney from 11th August to 21st August 2023. And this military exercise is composed of India, Australia, Japan and US. Number 6. Indian naval ship and has participated in the passage exercise PSXX 2023 with the Royal Saudi Naval Ship HMS Al Zawil in the Red Sea is INS Chennai. Number seven, Defense Minister has Ministry has decided to replace the Microsoft operating system in all the computers connected to the internet. A new OS is Maya operating system, and Maya has interface and all the functions like Windows and the users will not feel much differ difference as they transition to it. Number 8. Union government has approved a 20,000 crore deal to manufacture the fleet su support vessel which is urgently required by the Indian Navy. Number 9. President Draupadi Murmu has launched the Vidyagiri, an advanced lathe frigate at the Garden Ridge Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited GRSE facility on the bank of Hooghly River, Kolkata. Next, number 10, 27th edition of the Naval Excise Malabar of Squad Nation has concluded up in the Sydney on the Australia's East Coast and Squad Nations are India, Australia, US and Japan. 
नंबर इलेवन इंडियन कोस्ट गार्ड हैज साइंट एंड मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग मो ऑन इनेंस द मेरी टाइम कोऑपरेशन विद द फिलीपींस कोस्ट गार्ड नंबर ट्वेल्व इसरो इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वन मोर लोनार मिशन कॉल्ड द लुपेक्स दिस वन इज द कोलाबोरेशन विद द जापानीज स्पेस एजेंसी जक्सा एंड द लुपेक्स स्टैंड फॉर लूनार पोलार एक्सप्लोरेशन नंबर थर्टीन द सेंटर हैज फॉर्म ए नाइन मेंबर कमेटी टू रिव्यू द फंक्शंस ऑफ द डिफेंस रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डी एल डी ओ द कमेटी इज हेडेड बाय द प्रोफेसर के विजय राघवन नेक्स्ट फोर्टीन इंडियन एयरफोर्स आई एफ हैज पार्टिसिपेटेड इन द मल्टीलेटरल ट्राई सर्विस एक्सरसाइजेज ब्रिगेड स्टार टू थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी थ्री हेल्ट एट द कायरो एयर बेस इन इजिप्ट नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट बैंकिंग एंड इकोनॉमी रिलेटेड करंट अफेयर्स नंबर वन अकॉर्डिंग टू ए रिसर्च रिपोर्ट बाय द स्टैंड स्टैंडर्ड चार्टर्ड बैंक एस पार कैपिटल इनकम पीसीआई ऑफ इंडिया इज लाइकली टू ग्रो अराउंड सेवेंटी परसेंट बाय टू थाउजेंड थर्टी and cpi of india is expected to reach the 4000 dollar from the current level of 2450 dollar number 2 the bank has raised the 10000 crore at a coupon rate of 7.54% via 15 years infrastructure bond by state bank of india next number 3 according to the ministry of finance the gst collection for the month of july is 1.65 lakh crore number 4 the bank has launched the sib exim exim current account specially carted for the customer involved in the import and export business by the south indian bank sib bank number 5 the bank has sanctioned the 1974 crore to the rajasthan government under the rural infrastructure development fund for 2023-24 is national bank for agriculture and rural development nabard bank and it has sanctioned for the three rural drinking water supply projects in ajmer jalore and kota districts of rajasthan number 6 the bank has partnered with the indian institute of management ahmedabad iima the startup incubator ciie is a small industrial development bank of india sidbi bank and the objective is to support the startups with the memorials ideas and the technologies important for the india's goal for 2047 to become a self reliant next number 7 launched the direct incentive disbursement for its sales force in the delhi and uttarakhand circles is by the postal life insurance pli next number 8 the bank has partnered with the state government for odisha tourism development corporation otdc to ramp up the state tourism department payment solution by the bandhan bank next nine the bank has launched the 24/7 for the 365 days of video banking providing the customers with the real time video calls for the banking service is au small finance bank and au small finance bank is the first bank in india to launch this type of service number 10 the bank has partnered with the icici lombard insurance general insurance along with the other partners to provide the car and two wheelers insurance plan by the bajaj finance and these policies can be brought instantly to the platform through all the digital and seamless customer experience journey next number 11 the banks of india have retained of the bad loans npa worth of 14.56 lakh crore in the last nine financial year starting from 2014 to 2023 next 
नंबर ट्वेल्व द बैंक हैज लॉन्च द इंडिया फर्स्ट इको फ्रेंडली डेबिट कार्ड फॉर इट्स कस्टमर विद द सेविंग्स बैंक अकाउंट इज एयरटेल पेमेंट बैंक नेक्स्ट नंबर थर्टीन द इंस्टीट्यूट हैज साइंट एंड मो मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग विद द येस बैंक टू स्ट्रेंथन इट्स मॉनिटरिंग इनिशिएटिव फॉर स्टार्टअप गेन एक्सेस टू एक्सपर्ट across the industry is indra posta institute of information technology dindli innovation and incubation center next number 14 rbi has increased the offline transaction for upi the light limit from 2100 rupees to 500 rupees next 15 the company has introduced the industry first premier payment through whatsapp and upi is tata aia life insurance next 16 according to sbi chief economist india has become india will become the third largest economy by 2027 next 17 the organization and the national health authority nha have jointly organized an exclusive three days accelerator workshop is irdai insurance regulatory and development authority of india and the objective is to help the insurance companies complete their ayushman bharat digital mission integration and to facilitate the adoption of the health claims exchange specifications next 18 the bank will launch the pilot project for the public take platform ptp for that frictionless credit by the rbi next 19 the canada bank has introduced the canada jeevan dhara special saving bank account for pensioners and the prospective pensioners next 20 the bank has launched its state of the art mobile banking app iris to offer the digital banking solution in india is yes bank next 21 the bank has launched the upi interoperable digital rupee mobile application as a part of the rbi's central bank digital currency cbdc pilot project is canada bank next 22 the bank has launched a first of its kind multi branded credit card for the, all the customers in partnership with the british airlines and qatar airlines is indusland bank and they bans the indusland bank avios visa infinite credit card next 23 the bank has partnered with the marriott vonvoy the estimated travel program by the marriott to launch india's first co-branded hotel credit card is hdfc bank and this credit card is known as the marriott vonvoy hdfc bank credit card next 24 the bank has launched its infinity saving account to offer the special features for its customer including no domestic transaction charges in exchange for the monthly fees is axis bank and the move aims to appeal to those who frequently adopt the subscription based <laughs> based models next segment states and national related current affairs number 1 the cities will get india's first ever virtual university campus in mumbai and thane city of maharashtra number 2 ostro opd will be launched at the sampurnanath sanskrit university in varanasi uttar pradesh and opd stand for the outpatient department number 3 the state has retained its tag of the tiger state having the ministry has launched the national action plan for drug de- demand reduction in a pddr is ministry of social justice and environment and the objective is to reach out to the masses and spread awareness about the substance use a focus higher educational institution university campus school counted 
फॉर सेवन हंड्रेड एंड एट्टी फाइव कैट्स इन मध्य प्रदेश नेक्स्ट नंबर फोर द मिनिस्ट्री हैज़ लॉन्च द नेशनल एक्शन प्लान फॉर ड्रग डिमांड रिडक्शन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशल जस्टिस एंड एम्पावरमेंट एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव टू रीच आउट द मासेस एंड स्प्रेड द अवेयरनेस अबाउट द सबस्टेंट यूज विथ ए फोकस ऑन द हायर एडुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन यूनिवर्सिटीज कैंपस एंड स्कूल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव द सिटी इज बिकम द फर्स्ट सिटी इन द कंट्री टू बी यूज द सेफ्टिक टैंक फ्री एंड हैव द टॉयलेट्स इन द हंड्रेड परसेंट हाउड हाउस होल्ड सोन इज नवी मुंबई नंबर सिक्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज लॉन्च द राजमार्ग यात्रा टू नैस द हाईवे यूजर एक्सपीरियंस इज नेशनल हाईवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया एंड यूनिफाइड मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एम एप प्रोवाइडिंग द कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव इंफॉर्मेशन एंड एफिशियंट कॉम्प्लेन रिड्यूसल फॉर नेशनल नेक्स्ट नंबर सेवन द स्टेट विल सेट अप द नेशनल सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंसी फॉर बैडमिंटन इज आसाम गवर्नमेंट and more memorandum of understanding for the central will be signed between the assam government and the badminton association of india next number 8 the state will set up a rohino stock sports to promise the measure to restart the rohino conservation plan in balmiki tiger reserve is bihar state number 9 railway vikas nigam limited and the russian company metro wagon mass is on the course to manufacture and supply around 120 bande bharat trains to indian railways at the cost of 120 crores per train next number 10 union finance minister nirmala sitaraman has laid the foundation stone for an archaeological museum at Adi Channalur in Tamil Nadu. Next number eleven. The state cabinet has gave its approval to a high-level committee's proposal to establish nine new districts and three additional divisions with the state is Rajasthan. Number twelve. The state is planning to build a dam at the cost of six thousand one hundred and thirty-four crores rupees by the Haryana government. Next number thirteen, the academy has launched the Interpol Global Academy Network at a virtual event. Is Central Bureau of Investigation (CBI) Academy? CBI Academy has become the tenth member of the Interpol Global Academy Network. Next number fourteen, National Institute of Industrial Engineering will be renamed as the I I M Mumbai Indian Institute of Management, and it will become the twenty first I M of India and second in Maharashtra. Next, fifteen Kerala Legislative Assembly has passed a resolution to change the name of the state from Kerala to Kerala. Next, sixteen Union Home Minister Omisha has laid the foundation stone for the Indian Farmers Fertilizer Cooperative Limited I. F F C O Nano Urea Plant at the Gandhi Nagar in Koch, Gujarat. Next, seventeen National Company Law Tri Tribunal has approved the ten billion mergers of G and Sony companies. Next, eighteen Union Home Minister Omisha has inaugurated the various development works. Or top one thousand fifty two crores in Gandhi Nagar, Gujarat, and the development works were under done and joined by the government of India and the government of Gujarat state. Next eighteen, the state will open the CSP Plus banking outlet in the four thousand three hundred and seventy three gram panchayat is Odisha state government and the total cost of this outlet is five hundred crore. Next twenty Uttar Pradesh government will set up the India's largest IT hub in Lucknow and the IT hub will be located on the forty acres of the land and the Navadiganj industrial area of Ambuja in Kanpur Kanpur Road. 
next 21 the company has partnered with the ministry of tourism to showcase the 600 plus of the destination is make my trip the online travel firm has launched a micro site the travelers map of india next 22 prime minister narendra modi has laid the foundation stone for the temple of 14th century mystic poet and social reformer sant ravi das in sagar district of madhya pradesh next 23 grafane arora program has launched by the emity secretary alkesh kumar sharma in kochi kerala and the program will be implemented by the digital university kerala has total cost of our budget outlet of 94.85 crores next 24 the state has launched the first indian state to offer a free in vitro fertilization treatment is goa state next 25 Chief Justice D Y Chandrachud has announced a plan to expand the Supreme Court with the 27 additional courts and 51 judges chambers. Currently the Supreme Court have has the 17 court rooms and the two register courts and its mm, judicial strength is 32. Next 26 India's first long range revolver proval has been launched and it as manufactured bird by the advanced weapon and we we equipment india state owned enterprise based in kanpur next 27 union cabinet chaired by prime minister narendra modi has approved the seven multi tracking project targeted at india's railway with an outlay of 32500 crores Next 28 Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has approved the 57.57613 crore PME based seva initiative to argument the use of 10000 electric buses in 169 cities across India. Next 29 the startup company has received the final approval from the market regulator security exchange board of india sebi to launch its ss management asset management business is jarodha startup company next 30 launched the sumudra mobile app for the over sea ferries by the indian national center for ocean information service and sumudra stand for smart access to marine user for the ocean data resources and advisories next 31 the bank has launched the forces with the reserve bank innovation hub a subsidiary of the reserve bank of india to introduce two ground breaking lending products is axis bank next 32 the taken as a ground breaking step towards enhancing the flood preparedness and response by the unveiling the food watch mobile application by the chairman of central water commission kushvinder bora next category summits and conferences number 1 20th annual conference of the commonwealth parliamentary association india region has been launched has inaugurated by the lok sabha speaker om birla next number 2 union minister for women and children development smriti zubin irani has inaugurated the g20 empower summit in gandhinagar gujarat now and the theme is the women led development ensuring a sustainable inclusive and equitable global economic growth number 3 world coffee conference will be held in bengaluru for the first time in india and the fifth edition of the global conference of world coffee conference will be take place from 25 september to 28 september and the brand ambassador of the conference is indian tennis star rona rohan bonappa and the theme will be 
sustainability through circular economic and regenerative agriculture number 4 observer research foundation has organized the think 20 secretariat summit under the india's g20 presidency in mysuru karnataka next number 5 india's first beauty and lifestyle festival naika land will be held in mumbai on 5th and 6th november and the naika has collaborated with the book my show to start this festival number 6 federation of economic development association f e d a has hosted the international education summit and the conference 2023 at the hamdan bin mohammed smart university in dubai and the event was attended by the more than 120 participant participant from various academic disciplines and the summit was aimed at the providing the platform for ambitious mind to the showcase academic excellency it's featured as a conference on the topic of innovative research in economic management information technology and legal studies number 7 special art exhibition dedicated to g20 members countries has been commenced in the bihar museum patna bihar and the exhibition has inaugurated by the chief minister of bihar nitish kumar and the title of the two month long exhibition is together we art next number 8 third and final meeting of the g20 anti corruption working group acwg under india's presidency has been has been held in the kolkata city and the meeting was chaired by union minister dr jitendra singh and the first and the second anti corruption working group meetings were held in the gurugram city and rishikesh city respectively next number 9 the minister has represented india at the virtual 7th brics industry ministers meeting hosted by south africa is the union minister of commerce and industry pius goel and this the 7th brics ministerial meeting the pius goel announced the india's plan to launch the brics startup forum in the year of 2023 next question number 10 global maritime india summit 2023 will be held at the pogadi maidan in new delhi for 27th 17th october to 19th october and the meeting was participated from for more than 40 countries including 21 ambassador high commissioner deputy high commissioner trade commissioner 23 diplomats underscored global interest in the upcoming meeting next 11 g20 digital economic working group meeting was held in bengaluru number 12 youth 20 summit 2023 has been organized by the ministry of youth affairs and sports in varanasi uttar pradesh next 13 ministry of ayush and the world health organization who have jointly organized first of its kind global summit on traditional medicine in gandhinagar gujarat next 14 g20 Film festival has begun in New Delhi and it has been inaugurated in New Delhi by actor Victor Banerji and Amitabh Kant India's G20 Sherpa next 15 India Union Health Minister Dr Mansukh Mandaviya has inaugurated India's first medical technology expo India Medtech Expo 2023 in Gandhinagar in Gujarat the inaugural event of the organ was organized on the sidelines of the G20 health Mi- health minister meeting next 16 lok sabha speaker om birla has inaugurated the ninth commonwealth parliamentary association india region conference at udaipur rajasthan and the theme of the two day conference 
is strengthening democracy and good governance in digital age. 17 4th G20 Trade and Investment Ministerial Meeting will be held in Jaipur on 24th and 25th August. The first three trade investment working group meetings were held in Mumbai, Bangalore and Kavadia respectively. Next 18 4th G20 Cultural Working Meeting CWG Meetings has begun in Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. And the first working group meeting was held in Kojuraho, number 2, second in Bhuvaneshwar, third in Hampi City. Next, number 19, B20 Summit India 2023 has commerced in New Delhi. Next, 23rd International Conference on Structural Integrity ICONS 2023 has begun virtually at Mamalapuram in Tamil Nadu and IONS 2023 was inaugurated under the leadership of Dr. N. Kalai Selvi, the Director General of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and Secretary Department of the Scientific and Industrial Research. Next segment, appointment number one, appointed as the Director General of the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, NAC, is Professor Ganeshan Kanariban. Number two, appointed as the Deputy Chief Executive Officer of the U.S. International Development Finance Corporation, DFC, is Nisa Desai Biswal. Number three, appointed as the Chairman and the Managing Director, CMD, of the Engineering Projects India Limited, EPIL, is Sivendra Nath. Number four, appointed committee of the cabinet SEC has approved the extension in service to Rajiv Kova as the cabinet secretary for a further period of one year. Number five, appointed as the chairman of the Central Board of Indirect Access and Custom CBIC is Sanjay Kumar Agarwal. Number six, appointed as the president and CEO of Honeywell high growth region is Ananta Maheshwari, the former Microsoft India Chief. Number 7. Appointed as the new Chief Finance Officer, CFO of Tesla Company is Indian origin Voibhav Taneja. Next, number 8. Appointed as the additional Director General of India Coast Guard, Indian Coast Guard is S. Paramesh. Number 9. Appointed as the MD and CEO of SBI Life Insurance Company is Omit Jingran. Number 10. Reappointed as the Chairman of Indian Oil Corporation Limited, IOCL, is Sikantro Madhav Vaidha for next one year. 11. Appointed as the MD of LIC is R. Duraisamy. Number 12. Appointed as the new CEO of PayPal company is Alex Chris. Number 13. Appointed as the new chairman and managing director CMD of Power Finance Corporation Limited PFC is Pamrindan Chopra. And C has become the first chairman of the organization, woman chairman of the organization. Next, 14, appointed as the managing director and CEO of South Indian Bank is P.R. Sahistri. Number 15, appointed as the SEBI's whole time members are Kamales Varnase Ne and Amarjit Singh and it is approved by the Appointments Committee of the Cabinet. Amarjit Singh is the Executive Director at the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SEBI. Next question number 16. Appointed as the Brand Ambassador of Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, BPCL, is Indian present in cricket coach Rahul David.
नेक्स्ट सेवेंटीन अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयरमैन ऑफ द नेशनल ग्रीन ट्रिब्यूनल एन जी टी इज जस्टिस पोकस श्रीवास्तव द फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कोलकाता हाईकोर्ट नेक्स्ट एटीन डी डी रेजिग्नेटेड एज द नेशनल आईकॉन बाय द इलेक्शन कमीशन ई सी टू इनक्रेज द ग्रेटर वोटर पार्टिसिपेट इन द इलेक्ट्रल प्रोसेस इज सचिन तेंडुलकर नेक्स्ट नाइनटीन appointed as the part time chairman of unique identification authority of india is nilakantha misra next 20 appointed as the ceo of digital business of vicon 18 platform is kiran mani next question number 21 appointed as the chairman of smart e e mobility is manoj kohli next 22 appointed as the brand ambassador of Infosys Digital Innovation is tennis star Rafael Nadal and Yaga Ojitex. Next 23 re-elected as the president of Zimbabwe country is Emerson Mangaga Waga. Next 24 appointed as the brand ambassador of the Indian oil Indiani Exchange LPG brand is Sap Sanjeev Kapoor next 25 joined the midweek wicket stories as the principal advisor is former indian legendary cricketer sunil gavaskar next 26 become the first woman field director of kajiranga national park is dr sonali ghosh next question number 27 appointed as the chairman of Cell India Company is Mansi Madan Tripathi. Next segment, awards and honors. Number one, conferred with the first Vidyog Ratna Award, Maharashtra Bhusan Award to Ratan Tata. Number two, conferred with the Lokmanya Tilak National Award in Pune to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, and the award is given on the hundred and third. Death anniversary of the freedom fighter Bal Gangadhar Tilak. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi is the forty-first recipient of the award. Next number thirty-three honored with the Global Visionary Entrepreneurs of the Year 2023 to the Deepak Senoy, the MD of Medec Dragon Private Limited. Number four, the actress will be honored with the Diversity in Cinema Award at the Indian Film Festival, Melbourne. Is actress Minal Thakur. Next, number five, awarded with the Global Leaders Award 2023 for the healthcare expansion in the Africa is Joyce Swani, the head of the Life Care Group. Number. Six. The state has backed the best performing state award 2023 for the organ and tissue transplantation is Tamil Nadu. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandaviya presented the best state organ and tissue transplant organization award to Tamil Nadu Health Minister A M S Brahmaniam at the 13th India Organ Donation Day function held in New Delhi. Number seven, conferred with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the first ever Rick's South Asia Award to the Subhas Ranwal, the chairman of Ranwal Company, a leading real estate developer company. Next, number eight, won the Gold Award 2023 under the Excellency in Government Process Reengineering is National. Automated Fingerprint Identification System (NAFIS) team for the Digital Transformation Category One by the Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Complaints. Next, nine. The district has been conferred with the prestigious award for the best performer district in Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir under P M G by the. Manoj Sinha, the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, is Kupwara District. Number ten, 
President Draupadi Murmu has approved the 76 gallantry award to armed forces and CPPF to 76 personnel. And the 76 gallantry awards including 4 Kriti Chakra posthumously, 11 Surya Chakras including 5 posthumously, 2 Bar to Sena medals gallantry, 52 Sena medals gallantry, 3 Now Sena medals gallantry, and four Bayou Sena medals gallantry. Number 11. Number of police personnel has been awarded the police medals on the occasion of Independence Day to 954 personnel by President Draupadi Murmu. Number 12. Number of personnel has been awarded the Fire Service Medal on the occasion of Independence Day 2023 to 53 personnel. Number 13 awarded with the Howard University's converted George Ledley Prize 2023 is Indian American economist Raj Chetty. And the four are holding big data to break the myths about who achieves the American dreams. Number 14 received the 2023 International Young Young Eco Hero Award who has taken the initiative to tackle the world most pressing environmental challenges to five youths from India among the 17 teen environmental activists across the globe. And these five are Isha Dixit, Manoya Harsa, Nirvaya Samaya, Manit Kaur and Karna Rastogi. Next 15. Conferred with the, the Grand Cross of the Order of Honor Award by the Greek President Katrina Skelleropolo to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and this Grand Cross of the Order of Honor, this is the second highest civilian honor in the Greece country. Next, 16 awarded with the Excellency in Manufacturing of Automobile Parts at ET Leadership Excellency Award to Parmit Singh Sod, the Managing Director of the Climax Overseas Private Limited. Next, 17. Miss Earth 2023 is crowned to the Priyan Sen from Rajasthan. Now, the next segment. Sports related current affairs. Number one, the number of medals won by India at the Sri Lanka Athletics National Championship is total 14, 9 gold medal, 4 silver medal, and 1 bronze medal. Number two, Union Sports Minister Onurag Singh Thakur has inaugurated the Asian Youth and Junior Weightlifting Championship 2023 in Gator, Noida. And the event is being held in India for the first time. Number three, the winner of WTA BNP Paribas Warsaw Open to title 2023 is world number one Yaga Ojite of Poland. And the runner up of WTP NB Poribas Warsaw Open is Laura. Sigmund of Germany and she her own her the fourth title of the season and overall 15th career title. Number four, the city will host the India's first IAU 50 km World Championship in November 2023 is Hyderabad City. Next question number five, Stuart Broad has announced his retirement from international cricket and he was playing for England and he is the fifth on the all-time list of wicket takers and he is one of the sec only two first bowler to take over 600 wickets. 6. Won the gold medal at the Asian Youth and Junior Weightlifting Championship 2023 is Siddhanta Gogoi, men's 61 kg junior title. Number 7. Number of medals won by India at the World University Games in Chengdu, China is 6 medals including 4 gold medals. Number 8. Diego Godin has announced his retirement from football. He was playing for Uruguay national team. Number 9. The winner of men's 
single title at the Humbles European Open 2023 is Alexander Zverev, the women's single title senior he was Anderax Rooks of Netherlands. Number 10 won the gold medal at the World Archery Championship 2023 is Indian archery team comprised of Jyoti Sureka Venom, Parneet Kaur and Aditi Gopichand Sami. And it, is, it was India's first ever gold at the Archery World Championship in any category. And it was held in the Berlin city of Germany. Number 11. Manoj Swari has announced his retirement from all formats of cricket. And he was the India middle order batter and Bengali cricket team veteran batsman. Number 12. Own a gold medal at the World Archery Championship 2023 is Indian women's team and the team is comprised of Jyoti Siraka, Sureka Venom, Parneet Kaur and Odidi Kapichand Sami. And this is the first time gold medal competition won by Indian archery team. 13th edition of the Malabar River Festival and it was opened at the Kusingargli in Kojikont, Kerala. Number 14, 9th edition of the Malabar River Festival has opened at the Dusargli in the Kojikont, Kerala. Number 15, become the first ever India to win the individual world title at the World Archery Championship Title 2023 is Indian Archery Oditi Sami and it was held in Berlin in Germany. Next, number 16 launched a short movie series Halla Bowl on the journey of Asian Games bound athletics by Sports Authority of India under the umbrella campaign Chair for India and the objective is to motivate them for the Hanzao Asia Games and spread awareness about the upcoming Asian Games. Number 17, the Alex Halles has announced his retirement from the international cricket and he was playing for England cricket team. Number 18, India Athletic will lead the Indian campaign in the World Athletics Championship began in the 19th August is Olympic gold medalist javelin thrower Neeraj Chopra. And this World Athletic Championship 2023 was held in Budapest, Hungary. Number 19 won the gold, only gold medal for India in the women's 61 kg weight, weight division World Great Wrestling Championship 2023 is Indian wrestler Sobita. And it was held in the Istanbul city of Turkey. And the total medals won by India is 11 medals including one gold medal seven silver medal and three bronze medals next 20 the state will organize the khelo muharat muharan from the 1st november to 10th january to identify and nurture the sports talent at the ghost root level is assam and more than 50 lakh sports person will participate in compete in the five sporting discipline athletics football kabaddi volleyball and kho kho 21 the winner of asian championship trophy title 2023 is indian men's hockey team and the runner up team was malaysia hockey team and the final was held in the mayor radhakrishnan stadium in chennai and the four time asian championship trophy winner india is the most successful team in the history of the tournament next 22 69th edition of the nehru trophy boat race 2023 is being held at the mundama punnamada lake in kerala 23. The winner of Canadian Open 2023 long tennis is Sanex Sinner of Italy. Next, 24. Steven Finn has announced his retirement from all format of cricket. He was playing from England. Next segment.
इंटरनेशनल करंट अफेयर्स नंबर वन इंडिया हैज़ हैंडेड ओवर द एडवांस टू श्रीलंका टू फंड इट्स यूनिक डिजिटल आइडेंटिटी प्रोजेक्ट ओवर फोर हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिलियन रुपीज इंडियन रुपी नंबर टू द कंट्री विल बाय टू डोनिया टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी एट एयरकॉप हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक लिमिटेड इज गोना कंट्री एंड गोयना इज ऑल्सो इंटरेस्ट इन परचेसिंग द पेट्रोल वेसल ए फ्लिट आर्मर्ड वेहीकल रडर सिस्टम्स नंबर थ्री बिकम द केयर टेकर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान इज अनरोल हक ककर एंड ही हैज बिकम द एट इंट्रीम प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ पाकिस्तान नंबर फोर द कंट्री हैज लॉन्च द एन ई वीजा फैसिलिटी फॉर इंडियाज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट अगस्ट इज रसिया अलॉन्ग द ट्रेवलर्स इन द कंट्री टू सरपेस द हेसल्स ऑबटेनिंग ए रेगुलर वीजा नंबर फाइव द कंट्री विल इंट्रोड्यूस इंडियाज हेल्थ केयर मॉडल एंड शो द रेप्लीकेट द सेम पी एम भारतीय जन औषधि परियोजना जन औषधि केंद्र मॉडल इन द कंट्री इज इंदोनेशिया नंबर सिक्स ब्रिक्स एलायंस हैज अनाउंस द सिक्स इंक्लूशन सिक्स मेंबर्स कंट्रीज दिस कंट्रीज आर इजिप्ट इथोपिया एरियन अर्जेंटीना यू ए एंड सऊदी अरबिया नंबर सेवन वन इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर व्हीकल फर्स्ट इंडियन ई वी कंपनी हैज अनाउंसड दैट द कंपनी हैज स्टार्टेड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इट्स फ्लैगशिप इलेक्ट्रिक मोटरसाइकिल क्रीडेंट इन लोकली इन द अफ्रीका नंबर एट द कंट्री हैज डेवलप्ड ए डिवाइस फॉर द वर्चुअल इम्पेयर्ड इज जर्मनी कंट्री एंड दिस डिवाइस हैज बीन ब्रॉड टू इंडिया फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड गिवेन द वर्चुअल इम्पेयर्ड इन पुणे नंबर नाइन इंडिया हैंडेड ओवर द बी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी टू द ब्राजील टू होस्ट द जी ट्वेंटी इन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन द कंट्री हैज होस्टेड इट्स फर्स्ट वेरी कर्नाटका कल्चरल फेस्टिवल इज श्रीलंका नाउ द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट स्कीम एंड इनिशिएटिव नंबर वन द अमाउंट हैव बीन सेंसेंट अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री प्रधानमंत्री मुद्रा योजना इन द फिनेंशियल ईयर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री And the objective of the PMA is to provide access in to institutional finance to new or existing micro units and enterprise up to ten lakh rupees. Number two, the number of farmers have identified from the PM Kusum, Pradhan Mantri Kisan Urja Suraka Ivam Uttam Aviyam. Avian is scheme till June 2023 is total 40 lakhs farmers. PM Kusum scheme was launched in 2019. Next number three, Homrit Bricks Andolan app has been launched by Assam Chief Minister Hemant Biswa Sharma. Number four, the Union Government has launched the Vibhav Se Biswas II scheme for settling the contractual disputes involving the. government and the government undertakings number 5 the union government has launched the digital crop vessel dcs on a digital basis from the kharif 2023 season of this year for the better showing data collection in 12 state of the country number 6 prime minister narendra modi has virtually laid the foundation stone for the redevelopment of 508 railway station across india on the 6 august estimated cost around 24470 crores and the ambitious project is executed under the amrit bharat scheme and the mam is to enhance the passenger amenities and improve the railway infrastructure next question number 7 national commission for Protection of Child Rights (NCPCR) has developed the Masi application for the real-time monitoring of child care institution and their inspection process across the country. And Masi stands for the Monitoring App for Seamless Inspection. 
नंबर एट द स्टेट हैज़ लॉन्च ए ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग स्कीम कॉल्ड द सुबह यात्रा इज करला स्टेट एंड द स्कीम एम्स टू प्रोवाइड मार्च नीडेड फिनेंशियल सपोर्ट टू फर्स्ट टाइम ओवरसीज इमिग्रेंट फ्रॉम केरला फेलिसिटिंग ए पॉजिटिव एंड प्रोडक्टिव माइग्रेशन इकोसिस्टम इन द स्टेट नंबर नाइन प्रेसिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू हैज इनोग्रेटेड द उमेश एंड उत्कर्ष फेस्टिवल एट द भोपाल मध्य इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड उमेश इज द उमेशा इज द इंटरनेशनल लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल एंड उत्कर्ष इज द फेस्टिवल ऑफ फोक एंड ट्राइबल परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स नेक्स्ट नंबर टेन द मिनिस्ट्री हैज इम्प्लीमेंटेड द नया सवेरा स्कीम फॉर और द फ्री कोचिंग एंड एलाइड स्कीम इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अफेयर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू एसिड द एसिस्ट द स्टूडेंट कैंडिडेट बिलोंग्स टू द सिक्स माइनॉरिटी कम्युनिटीज नेमली सिख जैन मुस्लिम क्रिस्टन बुद्धिस्ट पारसी बाय द वे स्पेशल कोचिंग फॉर क्वालिफाइंग एग्जाम नंबर इलेवन डेवलप्ड द मासी एप्लीकेशन फॉर रियल टाइम मॉनिटरिंग चाइल्ड केयर इंस्पेक्शन एंड देयर इंस्पेक्शन प्रोसेस एक्रॉस द कंट्री बाय द नेशनल कमीशन फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चाइल्ड राइट्स एन सी पी सी आर एंड मासी स्टैंड फॉर मॉनिटरिंग एप फॉर सेमलेस इंस्पेक्शन नंबर ट्वेल्व प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज लॉन्च द अमृत भारत स्टेशन स्कीम ए बी एस एस इन नाइनटीन स्टेशन एंड इट एम्स टू रिवर्डलाइज द फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एट रेलवे स्टेशन एक्रॉस इंडिया एंड टर्न देम इन टू वर्ल्ड कर्स ट्राइवल ट्रेवल हब्स नंबर थर्टीन यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव वन पॉइंट थ्री नाइन लैख करोड़ फॉर द मॉडर्नाइजेशन ऑफ द भारत नेट प्रोजेक्ट नंबर फोर्टीन द स्टेट हैज इम्प्लीमेंट द वन डिस्ट्रिक्ट वन प्रोडक्ट प्रोजेक्ट स्कीम प्रोडक्ट स्कीम इन गुजरात नंबर फिफ्टीन द स्टेट चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज लॉन्च द मेरी मट्टी मेरी देश कैंपेन इज चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एक नाथ शिंदे एंड इट वॉज ए मैटर ऑफ प्राइड दैट द कैलेरियन कॉल ऑफ द क्विट इंडिया एंड Established the Swarajya was given from Maharashtra soils. Number sixteen, the state has launched the Mo Jangal Jami Yojana scheme by Odisha State Government, and objective is for the indigenous people of the state to ensure the individual and community rights over the forest land for eligible beneficiaries. and it has it was launched on the international day of world indigenous people or the world tribal day next number 17 the prime minister narendra modi has launched the e portal of bharatiya vastra ivam silip course at the bharat mandapam bhogati maidan delhi on the national handloom day and it is a respiratory of the textile and craft developed by the national institute of fashion technology nift next question number 18 number of subscriber has so far enrolled at the atal pension yojana according to the lok sabha is 33 crore subscriber and it aims to deliver the old age income security to all the citizens of the india particularly to the workers in the unorganized sector and the atal pension yojana was launched on the 9th may 2015 next 19 the state has launched the india's first agriculture data exchange and the agriculture data management framework by the telangana state and it has developed as as a digital public infrastructure dpi for the agriculture sector next 20 the state chief minister has virtually launched the lion anthem and unveiled the seen sulocha web app by the gujarat chief minister bhupendra patel the app will help the state forest department 
to track the movement of the lions through information shared by the common people using this app the sin solutiona web app in the state next 23 the state has approved the disbursement of 6000 rupees to eligible farmers under the chief minister kisan kollyan yojana for the financial year of 2023 24 is madhya pradesh state and the decision was taken in in a cabinet meeting chaired by chief minister sibrai singh chauhan in bhopal next question number 24 union minister for education dharmendra podan has launched the direct benefit transfer in the national apprenticeship promotion scheme in new delhi and the objective is to focus on the vision of marketing skilling and apprenticeship aspirational as well as encouraging in earning while learning as the envisioned in the national education policy next question 25 union government has launched the viswakarma scheme with the allocation of 13000 crore to 15000 crore for the skill worker like barbers goldsmith washer men etc and the scheme will launched in the scheme in september 2023 on the viswakarma jayanti next 26 union minister purushottam rupala has unveiled the a health program in gujarat and a health stand for accredited agency for health and extension of livestock production next 27 union government is planning the skill development training women under the lakhpati didis scheme that aims to encourage them to start the micro enterprises for 2 crore women the women would be trained in the skill like plumbing led bulb making and operating and repairing drones among others next segment memorandum of understandings and agreements number 1 the body has signed and moves with 35 institutional across the country for fostering collaboration and collaboration in standardization and conformity assessment is bureau of indian standard bis next number 2 the public sector undertaking psu has signed and more memorandum of understanding with green state hydrogen india limited for potential collaboration opportunities in green hydrogen and derivatives in hydrogen value chain is by the bharat heavy electric limited bill number 3 the state government has signed and move with indian school business bharati institute of public public policy commerce a knowledge partnership with a focus on the evidence based policy formulation and its impact in the state is goa state government number 4 the state has allocated 12 hydro power project to three central government psu by signing the moa memorandum of, of agreement will be to of 11517 megawatt is arunachal pradesh number 5 india has recently entered the into a significant partnership by signing a memorandum of understanding mo to share the renowned india stack technology with trinidad and tobago number 6 india inland waterways authority of india has signed and mo with the nomigor refinery limited to use the national waterways to bombaputra and indo bangladesh protocol route ibpr now the next segment ranking and reports number 1 emerge as the highest paid bank ceo in the financial year of 2022-23 crossing over 10.55 crore is hdfc bank ceo sosidhar jagdishan number and the second highest paid actor ceo is omitabh choudhury of axis bank is 
9.75 crore. Number two, the state emerges as the top state nutrition awareness index is Punjab. And number three, the city has baked the best national smart city award for 2023-22 is Indoor City of Madhya Pradesh. The second rank is Surat, third rank Agra. And the central government has announced the India Smart Cities Award for 2022 and the best state award in the national Smart City Award is Madhya Pradesh and second rank is Tamil Nadu. Now the next segment obligatories. Number one, Vekam, Vekam Purushottamam has passed away and he was the veteran Congress leader and the former Mizoram government governor and the longest served speaker of the Kerala Assembly. Number two, N. Vittal has passed away recently and he was the Padma Bhushan awardee and the IAS officer. Number three, Joseph Olinho Gomes has passed away and he was the world oldest man. He was 127 years old from Brazil. Number four, Gumadi Vittal Rao Ekka Gadar has passed away and he was the famous Telugu Telangana folk singer. Number five, Siddiqui Ismail has passed away recently and he was a famous Malayalam filmmaker. Number six, Bika Sina has passed away recently and he was the eminent nuclear physicist and he was the recipient of the Padma Sri in 2001 and the Padma Bhushan in 2010 for his contribution to science and technology. Next question number seven, Hari Narke has passed away recently and he was an renowned author. Number eight, Kandala Kunta Alaha Singhala Chalur Ulu has passed away and he was the renowned author and Telugu and Sanskrit scholar. Number 9. Dr. V. S. Anurachalam has passed away and he was the former DRDO Director General and the Founder Chairman of the Bengaluru based Center for Science, Technology and Policy. Next, number 10, Kalampudi Radhakrishna Rao, known as C.R. Rao, has passed away recently and he was the renowned mathematician and statistician. And he was recently received the prestigious International Prize in Statistics 2023. Next, number 11. Wandam Rotenda, also known as the Barry Watt, has passed away and he was the former WWE champion. Number 12, Sima Dev has passed away and he was the Marathi cinema legend and Hindi film actor. Number 13, Joyanta Mohapatra has passed away recently and he was the eminent English poet. And he was the first Indian poet to win a Saito Academy Award for English Poetry in 1991. 81. So this is the video of monthly current affairs of August 2023. So I hope you like this video. If you like the video then press the like button and share this video. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the daily notification. So thanks for watching my video. Bye.